Flop house time. It's flop house time. Don't commit a crime because it's flop house time. Wait till it's over, then commit that crime. Wait, Cut on. us in for a half of the take. We'll provide an Wait. alibi, flop house. Just say you were listening to the flop house. Hey, we're the this. judge will let you off the charges. But again, give us half. Make we're that 60%. Flop house time right tonight. Wow, that's so odd. <laughs> You're recording this as evidence. Not evidence. Uh, this. I wasn't even here. I've got an alibi. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, mo- a TV movie CBS would make so they could try to spin it off into a show if uh, it got a big, like the way they did with Kojak. I don't know if that was yeah. CBS, but the way Kojak was done. So like, and Columbo was the same way, I think. So like. And Battlestar Galactica. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mystery show. Yeah. Your classic mystery show, Battlestar Turns Galactica. Turns out the Cylons did. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's a bunch of regular people, like high society types, and a Cylon in the room, and Detective Galactica. <laughs> Detective B. Galactica. I think I know who did it. Wait, 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 one, wait, wait. One, more, one more question. One thing I'm just going to understand. One more question, Mr. Cylon. So you're a killing machine robot. Oh, yes, I am. A, c- a case closed. That's- <laughs> you say you're a human being. Now, uh, why, do you, why are your eyes one red light that goes back and forth. Oh, uh, I have a condition. Oh, mm-hmm. that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, just one more question. If you're a regular poison, why do you have big metal claws for hands? And why are you a robot? Um, uh, uh, and the Cylon tries to jump out the window, but a cop leaps out of an ambush and tackles him. How did you know the Cylon was the one who did it? Let's just say I had a hunch. Oh, he's also a hunchback. So that pun, so it's always a pun at the end of the episode. Let's say I had a hunch. Looks at the, he looks at the camera and says, okay, he's closed. <laughs> it's called Battlestar Galactica Hunchback Detective. Stars the late Peter Falk and a Cylon. And it's always a Cylon who did it. <clears throat> and he talks like the guy from the stolen trailer. <laughs> I don't think we're going to say anything that I'm going to enjoy more than that. So, Ah, uh, Mr. Megorium. But uh, I guess the it was just everything about it was so forced. That was the... Yes. Everything was so forced. But then, like, at moments, uh, real life would intrude when it shouldn't. Like, there was, like, like that, an odd There was scene. that weird scene where they were watching the towers collapse on television. <laughs> that seemed inappropriate. <laughs> I really That's broke the I mean. mood of the film. This is... She played Queen Amygdala. <laughs> she she had babies, Darth Vader's babies. Yeah, and then she died out of a lack of will to live. That was so. It's like she lost the will to live, and I got so mad because I was like, "What about her fucking kids? She just had." Second like, of all, like a robot. Li- like what, was that like? Analyzed? I do love that the robot. There's a nurse bot that it knows human emotion better than the Jedi's do. Like that scene would have worked so much better if she died, and the nurse bot was like, "I don't understand. Her vital signs are fine." And someone said, "She just lost the will to live," and the robot's like. Huh? And looks confused. But instead, and then melts. Yeah, and then melts out of the logic loop. <laughs> yeah, but shooting at sparks. It's out just of like the tears. Kobayashi or, Maru. Or <laughs> if there's a later scene where you see the robot at home, where like the, the robot's like, I didn't have the heart to tell them I never passed my robotic <laughs> <laughs> medical exam. I've been practicing without a robo license. Oh, <laughs> uh, lost will live. I guess that's really because they're bleeding all over the place. Is that really what? <laughs> Man, fifteen of your patients lost the will to live this week. <laughs> It's terrible. You got the worst luck, nurse bot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pretty bad, huh? Beep, beep, boop, boop. Oh, rats. <laughs> now it's someone just pretending to be a robot? Yeah, Bam pretty much. Bantha <laughs> <laughs> No Java Wonga. <laughs> so this first letter from the Flophouse mailbag is... Flophouse mailbag. Open in the letters. Read in and up. Replying to them, sending them back. No sender at this address. Where did they move? Find it out. Did they leave a forwarding very, one? Very active, no, they one. didn't. Track it down. Use the internet. Public databases. I guess I'll pay the membership fee. It's like a man okay, in motion type version up. of Elliot's song. Time to find them out. Send it back. <laughs> Last known address was the one we already sent it to. The I guess pre- we'll wait to hear from them. They know where we are. It's weird are. that the whole premise of this song is like that they're using snail mail when these are all coming in via email, but all right. Not yeah. enough postage. <laughs> Flophouse mailbag. So this first letter. Part two of the song. <laughs> okay, we got an idea of where they live now. Send it to them as a package. 
with some flop house merchandise. Do we have any? Not yet. I don't understand why we anyone really on the internet on that. would say it's that Ali is irritating. Idea. I don't, yeah, when I people don't get why that idea got out there in the world. <laughs> well, no, they said my voice was irritating. My personality is also irritating. <laughs> It's like there. Transformers 2, uh, The Rise Attack of, of the Cobra. Clones. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Both going for the same joke at the same time. Go through any different directions. Uh, does that, is there a scene like that in Transformers 2, Breakin? I, Boogaloo? Uh, yeah. Uh, the most famous it was before, <laughs> subtitle ever. <laughs> I got it wrong. I it was it before up. they discovered the secret of the ooze, I think. Um, <laughs> was it another stakeout? <laughs> it was through the porthole of time. <laughs> through the porthole of time. Not the portal of time. The porthole of time. We're in the time a, boat. They're on, yeah, they're on a cruise. <laughs> the cruise that goes around the Caribbean and through time. <laughs> well, only if you go out through the porthole. All you right. Stay on the boat. Uh, the captain asked me to give you a quick word of advice about your cabin. You are the one cabin that has the porthole of time. Please don't go through it. <laughs> Because you'll end up in time. Captain that's just that's all, otherwise enjoy it. We've got the spa on deck two. Shuffle. You know what? Here's two. Again, free, here's two free spa coupons. Just don't open the porthole of time, please. I cannot <laughs> emphasize this enough. Do not go through the porthole of time. <laughs> Let me just tell you that again. I don't know why you'd go through a porthole at all. There's so much to do on the ship. I don't know why you'd try to leave it, but yeah. just this buffets, particular they porthole. Have buffets on the ship. <laughs> Midnight buffet every night. And you don't have to and stay up late because it starts at eleven. If you do happen to fall <laughs> out the, kids the to bed. of time, do Put not the kids- step on a butterfly. Please do not drop any shuffleboard <laughs> equipment in the. Uh, that might crush a butterfly. It would change the history. Um, Let me just tell you this: our buffets. Don't mess with the portholes <laughs> in general, time or not. You know, what? I'll make an announcement <laughs> to the whole ship. Just stay away from the portholes. Don't open them. Don't worry about it. Listen, we've got a whole mall. On the ship, there's a pool. Again why the, are you Why are you investigating the windows? Again with the portholes. Don't you worried about the breeze? It's air conditioned. Yeah. Just turn up the thermostat or down in the cabin. Yeah. Anyway, so see you tonight <laughs> at the uh, karaoke dinner <laughs> on the Lido well, like, deck. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions, the I Jared am Lido deck. again the purser. <laughs> Uh, the bosun uh, <laughs> recommends the veal. Uh, you'll find him in the you'll find him in the forecastle on the poop deck. <laughs> and Astern don't, don't, and don't go up in the crow's nest. <laughs> Stand of the rigging. <laughs> if you need to uh, go ashore, the coxswain will. Uh, <laughs> will be... We're on a boat. You don't have a lot of time. You tend to shorten words. <laughs> So we even the poor whole time we call it the poor time. Just so if you could just stay away from the poor time, that would be wonderful. Well, on that note, what no the fuck soap. Are you talking about? I'll well, I'll talk. We'll get there. Should be soap in the bathroom. If there's not, I'll get it for you now. Towel? No towels are in the closet right here. You'll okay. Great. The soap. I don't know why that is. I'll check it. Well, people tend to stay out of this cabin. We try not to book it because again, the poor whole time. So uh, maybe they just didn't refill the bathroom last time because there was no one staying in this cabin on the ship. Um. <laughs> then I'll get it for you. Well, now that that bit- Thank you. Oh, very generous, sir. Thank you. That's I mean, again n- not necessary, but very much appreciated. Now that that bit of theater is over, <laughs> that was um, a tip at the end. <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> Um, we're gonna that's go back my, in and do the. Uh, that's from my one man show, Poor Hole of Time. We're gonna do the sound effect. Go back in and put the sound effects in <laughs> yeah. afterwards. Right? Yeah. Caw, caw, caw. <laughs> you can you can just go let's, back and edit loop, loop those. those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll be great. <laughs> Layer it. Uh, okay, <laughs> layers. Put layers <laughs> in there. Stereo, <laughs> multi track. <laughs> I'll split. I'll put one on the on the on the left channel, one on the right channel. I That'd like be great. It. So it's like it's going through your head. Mm-hmm. And then I'll switch them. It's how humans hear things. <laughs> two ears. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now that we've wasted all that time, how many of these have we done? How many of these have we done? And you saved that fucking gold. I can't believe. You. Yeah, we've we found a new way to talk about Nicolas Cage and a new way to talk about Castle Freak. We're episode what seven hundred and eight. <laughs> yeah. You We've would been have doing thought, this for 100 years. You would have thought we <laughs> We have we, giant Zardoz beard and ne- fucking there's never, been a, song. there's never been a time we haven't been doing this podcast. Oh, we're like, it's like The Shining. <laughs> there's a picture from the 20s of us doing this podcast. <laughs> it was a radio show. We all have big mustaches. 
<laughs> Every time we walk out, we see another version of us walking in. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like Looper. <laughs> oh, we got a whole primer situation going on here. <laughs>